I think it would be bad if I just held the phone at the Sanklin. I was like, hi guys. Mm. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day today, but I really hope above all other things that you brought your bougie pants because you are gonna need it, honey. We are testing out, we are testing out the most ridiculously expensive foundation I have ever picked up. This is the new one from Tom Ford. It is their Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation with Broad Spectrum SPF 50. And guys, this retails at a staggering, unbelievable $150. I'm still like trying to figure out what happened like there was like there was something like some, some there was some sort of cognitive dissonance between like me and this like arriving on my doorstep I was like oh my god how did it get here <laughs> I don't remember buying that except I do because then I, I saw my bank account and I, I remembered I did it and I just I don't know like when that seemed like a good decision but nonetheless it's here and guys I want to test this foundation so bad and who knows like maybe this is where this entire video stems from I'm really not sure like somewhere deep in my subconscious because my first thought was $150. What the hell is in here for $150? Number one. Number two, I have tried so many foundations and I mean a staggering amount of foundations from the drugstore that are fan freaking tastic. So what in the world could be so good about this that it's worth $150? Now I definitely think we're dealing with a situation where like what's in a name like Tom Ford girl that's what's in a name. The name is money and it's dripping Tom Ford realness and so I definitely think there's a large part of that that plays a factor as well. All right so we're good we're moved in I'm trying to keep the chitter chatter you know to as, as much of a minimum as I can but you know I talk a lot. So let's go ahead and start talking about foundation application and all that good stuff. Um, if you're new to my foundation reviews, a lot of times if it's a first impression, I do like to split my face down the middle with primers just so I can make sure that the primer, there's not like a reaction with whatever I choose to go in with. So for today, I have this one on this side. This is Tatcha Silk Canvas over here. And then the Bobbi Brown face base is on this side. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start getting into application, which I'm gonna do that and kind of layer me applying it over top of me reading to you about the foundation just so we can kill two birds with one stone and uh, doing that you'll see me using both of these tools this is the Fenty 115 foundation brush it is one of my favorite foundation brushes and then I also have this Real Techniques uh, sponge it is damp but I you know rang it out and all that good stuff so I'll be using both of these while we're testing out and applying now moving into the description I want you guys to know according to what it says here I'm reading this from the Nordstrom website and it will of course be linked down below as well but it says that this is a Nordstrom exclusive with medium to full coverage and three-dimensional radiance that reflects soft light and then it goes on to say that the fade resistant moisturizing nourishing and protecting formula contains a blend of advanced elastomers and light diffusing powders to create the perfect radiant surface designed to create the appearance of flawless skin this foundation also nourishes with breathable protection and is infused with hyaluronic acid to moisturize for a plump dewy look now it does say that it is available in 39 shades, but I can't find anywhere on the site between Nordstrom's or Trend Mood where there's a clear cut as far as like a, a spectrum for those. So I'm not sure what the shade range looks like, but it does say that it has 39 shades. And of course, as I mentioned before, it is $150. You do get one full fluid ounce and I am using the shade 2.5 Linen. Okay, so after going in and applying this, we're gonna talk about the shade and, and that whole situation here in a second. But I want to mention first, let's talk, go ahead and talk about about coverage so I actually think that the coverage on this is very nice I do agree that it's a pretty decent medium it is buildable to a more full medium but I don't think that it's completely full coverage because I do have some redness and hyperpigmentation that is poking through on both sides and that's with me layering up um, I would say about two like two decent um, you know coats on each side and um, yeah I just I don't see that like full full coverage coming through however I do love the way that this looks on my skin I love love like the level of radiance it gives you a really beautiful lilt and shine which I think is super pretty um as far as application goes I do think it's very interesting how differently they apply in the two ways that I used the brush when I was applying this side I feel like it had a significant amount less when it came to um like workability movable on the skin I felt like it was a little bit more rigid um like it didn't want to blend out as far as well as it did with 
with a sponge and it also kind of dried down a lot faster on that side so just something to note in terms of application but let's go ahead and talk about the color situation because as you can tell like I just freshly applied this and this is a swatch of it fresh on my face so it quite literally oxidizes almost immediately on my skin but I'm gonna go ahead and start applying some more products so first up I'm gonna have my Tarte Shape Tape here this is in the shade Fair Neutral and I'm actually gonna be using this to not only conceal but to also work out some of the color differences and help blend this into my skin a little bit better all right so I think that this helped a little bit I definitely don't think it's like a miracle worker but I think that we're we're, we're headed in the right direction so now I'm gonna go ahead and set the under eyes and I'm also going to go ahead and set the center of my forehead and my nose all of which I'm going to be setting with my Maybelline fit me in 05 fair also I'm just kind of looking in the mirror real quick like, like the the way that it's settling in and while it's drying down it's still giving me a lot of transfer but I love the fact that it has this really beautiful like natural sheen to it and it isn't like an overbearing um like overly hydrated look it's just the most beautiful light healthy glowy feel on the skin and I really really like that and now since how we're on the topic it's time to go ahead and set the rest of my face and I can tell based on how this is looking that I'm going to want to tread lightly with the powder I think first on this side I'm gonna grab my big old Scott Barnes this is the 67 brush and this is the hourglass ambient ethereal light and this is actually more of a like a finishing powder that's usually what I use it for just to blend stuff out but sometimes when I have foundations that I have to set very very lightly or with a thin in very very finely milled powder I will reach for something like this and it actually does a really nice job all right guys so this is where we are right now just with that light little layer of powder on everything is nice and set down and it actually looks really good I feel like the light powder was definitely the way to go like that fine mill is like it's pressed in perfectly so far. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, do all of that, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. And all right, you guys, here we are. It's been about three hours that I've been off of camera, and I've had all my makeup applied and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up an up close just so you guys can see kind of how things came together and where we're at right now. I think as far as that goes, it's actually looking really nice. Like, I didn't expect, because I did have to go in and bake, like, my jawline and a little bit under the eyes, I thought that this would look a lot, like, drier and cakier on my skin than it does right now and I actually think for how much powder and again like baking and adding of additional stuff I had to do I think it looks pretty nice like all things considered as far as the texture goes the only thing that I am noticing that's on the more negative side is a slight settling into my smile lines which is pretty normal for how long I've been wearing it I'm also noticing that as far as oxidized goes I don't know if it really reads on camera but it has oxidized or continued to get darker um, over the last couple of hours because for a minute it there I had it pretty well fixed and I definitely think it's gotten darker but that's where I'm at right now I'm gonna go ahead run off of camera keep hanging out with it for a few hours and we're gonna see how it wears in the end so hang tight and I'll be back for our final verdict oh hello beautiful people <laughs> So this is where my life is at. Um, I know that this is like very different than what you probably expected to be getting. However, um, this video took a very different kind of turn. I decided to change things up. You guys know I said not too long ago that I wanted to just change how I do reviews in general. And lately, given that I haven't been feeling real good, I was like, you know what? Instead of doing this as a first impression, wada data, why don't I just take the review and the entire concept and really span it out over a couple days? And maybe we could learn just a little bit more about this foundation because and this is I guess what really sparked it for me was when I got done wearing it on that first day I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a clip of what it looked like and this was after only like six or seven hours of wearing it guys it looked so dry and like dense and thick and cakey and it just it did not wear well at all and at no point in the day was I like oh wow like that looks really nice because it just didn't look good so then with that information that I had gleaned from the first day I decided to go into my yesterday's makeup a little bit differently because I thought again I'll I'll try three different days, three different ways with this foundation. Look at me rhyme. Um, I'm basically Dr. Seuss, who's laying in bed because she's tired. <laughs> Um, but I decided, moral of the story, three different days, three different ways of this foundation. So I went into day two and I thought, okay, how about I try the Scott Barnes method where I use a little bit less of the foundation, but I still fill in like around my face. And it actually looked really, really beautiful. I have a clip of it in the morning. I'll go ahead and insert here, but it looked so nice. I used it just over like the planes of my face and I filled in with the concealer. So my thought process was like, maybe if I could make it look a little, not so much dewier, but give it a little bit more oomph. And then on a topical level, 
level, any way that I could use less powder would probably be beneficial. So then today going into this, which is what you're seeing right now, I decided for the third way, I actually wanted to try and mix it with a different foundation. So that way I could still use it all over my face, but then maybe just lighten up the tone a little bit. So today, what you're seeing, it actually looks beautiful. I mixed it with my Urban Decay, their new um, Stay Naked foundation in the shade, I want to say it was the shade 11NN. And the two of them mixed together is actually a beautiful, beautiful shade for me. It lightened it up just enough that it's still like my skin tone, but just a little bit better. And I have to say, out of all three ways that I have tried applying it, I do feel like this is the best application I've had. It still is like a standard medium coverage. You can see I've got like my acne and whatnot poking through. But the moral of all of this is I just wanted to give you guys a little update. This is where we are right now. So obviously, like I said, I'm going to go do the day. I'll check back on at the end, give you some final like thoughts, opinions, wrap ups, all that good stuff. And uh, we will go from there. But for now, this is me day three with the most expensive foundation I've ever purchased. And um, yeah, this is where we're at. Let's finish out the day. Oh, hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the end of the day. Welcome to my sanity drifting away. Oh, such a rhymer. Okay. Let's have a conversation. So we know I'm here. We're going to talk about foundation. We're going to wrap that whole thing up, but I wanted to introduce you first to the newest member of my filming situation, which is not editing page, not I'm ready to put my makeup on page, not like, oh, girls excited for the life in the day page. No, this is end of day overworked, exhausted and needs to be done page because uh, you guys, I have been working side note on this project for a client for hours today hours and I like it's one of those ugh, where it just doesn't come together like it just no matter what you do it's like oh, 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 and you just chase your ass all day long oh that's where I'm at and I just can't so hello meet her she's a wreck uh, but she's here nonetheless to talk about foundation so let's go ahead and discuss a couple of things I just I wanted to put that out there really quickly, just so you know, if, if I'm like a, a special type of twitchy today, there's a reason. Um, I feel like we're all here at some point or another in our lives. I am just here oh, right now and it's like really getting to me. So that's that. Anyways, let's talk about foundation. Um, let's actually, you know what, I'm going to bring you in so you can take a look. I think so far, and obviously this is just on my phone, so I, I know it's not like the most excellent footage or anything. I actually, you know what, I take that back because my phone shoots in like 4K, 60P or whatever. Very impressive. But anyways, I honestly think that out of all the ways that I've worn this foundation, though, this has probably been my favorite. It's not something because the lighting right where I'm sitting is actually decent. You can't see it too bad, but like around my nose and around my mouth a little bit, it does look a little bit uh, cracky, like a little settled. But other than that, like the rest of it, the planes of my face, everything stayed on very well. And all of this led me to ultimately one conclusion with this foundation. And that is honestly like there is nothing about this that's special and it really kills me to say that because guys when i tell you i went into this being so optimistic i was like it's my first luxury foundation i'm gonna love it it's gonna be so good it's gonna change my life it's gonna look amazing and i i was wrong like i uh, and I'm so sad because I did not want to be wrong today. Like I wanted this to go so well. I think at the end of it, you guys, what I have learned is that, um, which I think is something I've known all along, but like price tag does not, does not in any way dictate quality. Um, but more than that, because I'm not saying the foundation itself isn't a good quality. Um, there's definitely a difference between good quality and just not working for my specific skin. And I recognize that, but I think it's just a huge indicator that anytime we feel pressured or we feel like we need to buy something or we feel like we need to have like that new, that hot, that expensive, whatever, like, honestly, there are so many times that you just don't. And I think like, that's what I'm coming out of this with. Like I have went through so many foundation launches where it was a high end foundation or a high end, whatever. And I felt like I needed it. And now I'm sitting here and I'm just like, um, no, you don't <laughs> like you just, you straight up don't. So I guess to summarize everything that we've learned, the foundation isn't bad. It has a standard medium coverage on my skin because my skin requires powder. It doesn't work very well on its own. Um, if anything, out of the three days that I used it, the days it worked the best were the days that it either wasn't applied heavily or where I didn't use it by itself. For me, I don't think this foundation is anything special. Like I said, I'm a little disappointed. I'm trying not to be because like at the end of the day, it's it's okay that it didn't work. Um, it's nothing, honestly, it's nothing for me that like, I, 
I don't even think you need to try it. Just, it's nothing to write home about. Um, I do think that it had a really nice, like, light radiance to it. But truth be told, I just did a video on, I think it would have been Monday. And that was the L'Oreal, what was that? The L'Oreal Age Perfect. I can, I'll link the video wherever the, <laughs> wherever the hell cards go on this screen. I'll link it. Uh, but I just did a video on that. And, like, this has the same type of radiance. Actually, I guess I'd say the L'Oreal had a better radiance. But still, this one has, like, a very similar all-over radiant glow to it that that one does. It has a very similar coverage. Like, it's just... I don't know. For me, it's nothing special. I'd love to hear from you guys down below. What do you think? I'm sorry if the video is crazy. I know it's super weird. Um, at the very least, I'll do my best to like edit it down so it's fun because I know it's weird and everything went wrong. And guys, all I can do today is laugh because my day is just the last couple of days the last couple of weeks. Who are we kidding? Life is just really kind of kicking my ass right now. So I'm going to leave here on a happy, positive, good old little note. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you did. I know it was something different and it was a change, but I hope that we at least had fun along the way. So let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. If you looked at it, if you were tempted, of course, if you haven't checked me out, Instagram and Twitter, those will both be linked down below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, turn on your post notifications, please be sure to do that as well. I do upload three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And I, okay, well, <laughs> excuse me, stop, thanks. Oh my God, my arm is so sore. <laughs> I think it would be bad if I just held the phone at the Sanklin. I was like, hi guys. <laughs> um, Let's go with some of this Bubby Brown. Bubby. Did I even grab the foundation? Any? Did I grab literally anything? No, did not.